Today on Cartoon Academy, we're visiting animal habitats around the world. I love visiting the beautiful swamps and wetlands of the South, from Okefenokee Swamp to Ding Darling Park. We're going to visit the Florida Everglades, drawing three characters, a manatee, a flamingo, and a cute little turtle. Let's draw. We're going to start with our manatee's eye. It's an oval shape. We just fill that in. A little bit of space. And add the second eye. For the brow, we have an arch up and then a second one. Now for the face and snout. Right where this arch ends, we bring a line down, around, up slightly, down, round, and up. Right at the end here, we put a letter C backwards to form a cheek. A line across. And now we're going to add the nostrils. One and two. A little arch above. One, two. We're going to add a little bit of texture here where the whiskers might be. And now we're going to add the body, starting right here below the snout. In. Down and around, out, around, in, up, and stop. Now we're going to start from the top of the head, and we're going to meet right here. Up, down, around. Mouth is a letter U. Line across with the tongue and then shade that in. Now for the limbs. Letter V. Out and in. There's another arm right here. Lastly, the underbelly. Line across, right behind this limb, down and connect to the base. Our next character is going to be a flamingo. Our flamingo starts right up here. We have a circle or oval shape. Letter C backwards. and then a line across that forms both the eyelids and eyelashes. Now for the pupils. One and two. Our beak begins right at the base of the eyes. Come out, down, up, around, and then we add a little dash on the end. Come around from the eye, the lower part of the beak. Right at the tip here, we're going to just add a little bit of shading in. For the head, sort of the top of the eye, we add some feathers and back in to the jaw. Add two eyebrows. One, two. We're going to add a long neck. Line down down. A wing. Out. One, two, three. For the body, we continue on where we left off the neck with a letter U shape. We cut that off just before we bring it all the way up and we add the feathers, the tail feathers, pointing downwards. This is a line down, a letter M, and a line up. Now for the legs. 
one line down, two lines down. For the feet, let her see backwards, out, around, and in, out, around, and in. The other leg has a slight bend to it. You come down and in, forms a letter four backwards, down and in, over, over, and then we just sort of bend this foot inward. Where this bend occurs, it's not actually a knee, it's the ankle. We're gonna add our third character. It's a real simple little one. But sometimes simple can be very cute. It's a turtle. We're gonna start with the head. It's a shape like this. Next is the shell. We just draw a little arch up and then a line across. It forms a letter D turned on its side. For the face, very simple, just two dots and a smile. For the legs, we just use a square shape. Down, over, up. Down, over, up. And the letter L right next to it, and letter L backwards. For the tail, in and out. There's a little pattern. right on the shell like that. And then two eyebrows, one, two. Now we need to create our setting. We have a background, that's everything behind the character, a middle ground, everything the character is right near, and then a foreground, everything in front of the character. We're gonna start with our middle ground. We have a little bit of land, it sort of extends out here. We also have some water. Our manatee is sort of rising up out of the water, so we have a little bit of that goes in front of him. That's our middle ground. For our foreground, the stuff in front of the characters, we have actually under the water a little bit of seagrass, so our manatee has something to snack on. background, I'm going to add a tree back here. Line up, letter V, down, and we see a little bit of the roots exposed and above the ground here. That's just a letter M. Do that over, connect, over, connect. I'm going to add some Spanish moss hanging down from the trees. We just sort of scribble that in very loose, like so. Lastly, a little bit of texture on the tree. That's it. That's our Florida Everglades scene. Be sure to sign your name. Take pride in your work. I'm so glad you joined us today. You did a really great job on that drawing. See you next time.